It has been one month and one day since I got Major Tom. And in that time, I have to come clean. I haven't done a lot of official off-roading and I live in the off-road capital of the world. I live in Utah. So today we're in Moab in this snowy, blistery cold kind of winter wonderland that I've never seen Moab be before. And I'm here with Rob from Revere Overland and he has a brand new Tundra. So we're taking a brand new Bronco and a brand new Tundra on Onion Creek today. And we'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff this week. So. Um, I've never done this trail. I understand it's kind of just a moderate trail, but in the snow it could get us into some sticky situations as we raise elevation. So I'm looking forward to it. Should be fun. I don't know, day trails. What can I say? Let's just, uh, let's go on one. So far this uh, Onion Creek Trail has been awesome. There's so many water crossings and they're all iced over. So it's just like we're breaking the trail. I don't know, it just feels a little more adventurous than it probably is. Like right now as we cross some water, I am starting to realize a few things about my setup. Uh, I don't like where my table is in the back because as you can hear, it kind of knocks around against the side of the back side of the Bronco. So I'll work on that. That's one thing I'm gonna change. Um, I think camera layouts, I'm kind of stuck with what I have. So this is probably going to stay. Uh, I usually like to have a three camera setup, but I think we're stuck with just this two camera setup uh, until I maybe figure out a suction cup or something on the windshield. Uh, but for now, I like this. Uh, I think most of this feels pretty well dialed in other than the way I have the table in the back. I honestly wonder if I can fix that. Because that knocking, it's gonna drive me nuts. Hey look, and just like that, we're at another water crossing in one minute. So, oh, he can roll down his, okay, so the Tundra is pretty cool. For me though, way too much truck. I'm actually falling more and more in love with this really compact design. And uh, I've been talking to my wife about it more and more and I think this is the right vehicle for me because we don't have kids. Uh, I don't like to take a lot of gear with me. So this feels like, I don't know, I would have never picked a two door. It was assigned to me by Ford so that I could run a rooftop tent on a Sasquatch package. And I have to say, I'm in love with it. I had my reservations, like I'm sure many of you, when you saw it, you thought, what in the world was Justin doing? Oops, that was a goal zero battery that just fell over. Anyway, uh, those are some of the things I gotta work on. But right now, I'm I'm really digging the way I have it laid out. I'm digging the, the two door, the compact size, almost everything about it I'm in love with. I'm actually gonna go video the totem and then I'm gonna land because I wanna get some audio of the ice breaking. Cool, I might uh, work on rearranging my back here. There's a few things knocking that are driving me nuts. Okay, so we're stopped for a minute here, throwing my e-brake, and we're gonna go play. I'm gonna adjust some of the stuff in the back. Okay. So the back seems to be figured out more water crossings here. The sound of this is crazy the way it just like echoes off the cliffs.
I didn't like that story. Tell me a different one. <laughs> well, I drove it in comfort in my Tundra with heated seats on the hallway. How about that? That's a much better story. Because I'm not a weirdo. My wife would hate this in the snow, these shelf roads. Yeah, it's, this one I'm comfortable with because it's not like it leads up towards the edge. This whole trail is beautiful. I've never done this, not in the snow. I've actually never done this trail before. So these water crossings that are ice, the snow covered rock, the snow covered trees, just beautiful. This is gorgeous. And it's not, I mean, it's 0% technical. It's just snow and ice driving. So as long as you're cautious about those shelf roads and other things, beautiful. Bronco, <laughs> I mean, I love driving this thing. This is so much fun. And uh, it's eaten everything up. Uh, I haven't really felt myself slip and slide. Uh, I'm aired down to about 20 PSI right now. So it's performing great. I don't feel, how do I wanna say it? I feel planted is what I feel. It's probably easier to tell you what it feels like rather than what it doesn't feel like. So it feels really planted. I don't feel like I'm all over the road. I don't feel like I'm gonna lose control at any given minute. Like, I honestly feel really good about how good the Bronco's doing in the snow. So, to anybody who's wanted to know, how does it do in the snow? How does it do, or how do the tires do in the snow? All that stuff, I'm loving this. I think this is a lot of fun. And uh, these icy water crossings, it might slip a little bit on those, but I mean, finds itself on course right after, so. Up here in the snow, I've selected the goat mode that is mud and ruts. And I gotta say, it's doing so well. Having the rear locked up, having the front facing camera on some of these ridges where it's a little harder to see what might be up and around. It's awesome. I'm very, very impressed with the goat modes. And I mean, when I first drove a Bronco, I was like, goat modes, whatever, I know how to off-road. And uh, I just ignored them. I thought, I'm not gonna use those. So being able to turn those on and just enjoy the trail. It's so fun. And I mean, like there, I'm trying to drive in the soft stuff to see how it reacts. And it just like, you can hear it kind of turn on. I mean, probably not the best idea to test that up here on this ridge, <laughs> but it's really cool to watch it just, or feel it. Yeah, like right there, it'll like grip in the, in the soft stuff. So as I leave the two track and kind of get off trail a little bit, I can hear the goat mode take over. I can hear it turn on and then it's like I just have traction again. It appears that the trail we wanted to do is closed. So right now Rob is trying to find his phone. Who knows where it could be? In his massive truck. Yeah. I think the Bronco compared to his truck size-wise, I don't even reach the back of his cab. Like the spare tire might, but the, the Bronco itself doesn't. This truck is massive. Two totally different vehicles, but amazingly they handle about the same off-road. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. And I think it's an example of Honestly, it doesn't matter what you drive. Because even your 4Runner, my Jeep, my old Tacoma, we'd still be having a lot of fun out here. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to just give you a, a little peeksy poo inside his truck here. So that's Rob way over there. Hello. What do you want to see? Um, I don't know. 14 inch screen with CarPlay, full screen CarPlay. This one has, this one's the TRD off road package, so you got locker, crawl control, okay. multi terrain select. Do you want me to just set? Okay. <laughs> oh. First impressions, 
This is way more truck than I would ever need. I can't even reach the other side of it. I can't. Like what happens if you have to open the door for that person? <laughs> Do you climb over this massive, so. like, Huge send a console. That's the size of my, that you don't know the size of my arm, but it's the size of my arm. What's in here? Does it, oh, what? I Press guess that right makes there. sense. And then it opens up as well. Button on the left and the right. Oh, oh gosh. You're never gonna find your phone. No, I know, it's gone. I might as well give up. You should just buy a new one. This is not in my drone case. Hmm. And this is not it. Oh yeah, not like, it. No, that's... Com commenters at home, <laughs> it's yeah. right there in hey, front of you. You guys don't see it, the big white brick that <laughs> says, so, such an idiot. says I'm a phone. <laughs> okay, so if I was Rob's phone, I would fall down in these, I don't know, dude. I haven't a clue. It's, it's gone. We'll let you know if we find it. <laughs> Good news, we found Rob's phone. I went to go check to see if he left it in the Bronco when he was flying. I think he just wanted me out of his truck you know, cause he needed his space cause it's so big. <laughs> cause I don't have any routes downloaded. Where are we going? So I think Back we go, out. I think we go past the, the ranch house and go down Bull Canyon. See if we can get out at the top there. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. We cause where are we now? We are right here at the top of Onion And Creek. it's closed going up yeah, that way. So this is where, I really want to go up here cause this is a hideout. Is it hideout or hideaway? Hideout Canyon. There's oh, an old, and that's what's closed in yeah. front of us. There's an old hideout up there. Ooh, it's snowy. All right, I think we found a route. And now we know where we're going. Just up this road behind us, and uh, I get to be the new trail lead. So that's pretty fun. We're gonna put it in the goat mode here. I've been really liking mud and ruts. It seems to be doing really well. Kind of fun. Okay, some cows. Hey cow, how's it going? I don't know where to go. I'm assuming I go left from here. I think we've reached the end of the line, my man. Probably it's getting pretty deep down here and you have to climb up at the end of the canyon to get out. Yeah, so uh, about face. Go on, do your party trick. I don't know what you're talking about. I got no party tricks. <laughs> Let's see you. Go for it. I seem to have impressed every one of these cows. They are just like, wow, look at that. Look at that Bronco. They were very amused. <laughs> amused. <laughs> I gotta make sure that makes it in the video. Yeah, that's, uh, just go ahead and uh, wait for your applause. So Onion Creek was a bust, so we have stopped, parked them side by side, and it's snack time while we decide what we want to do next. But so far, Chex Mix, an Uncrustable, a Zero Sugar Powerade, I don't know, we're eating like four-year-olds, so it's definitely snack time. 
we were expecting to not turn this into a, a come back and stop and think of another trail, but Rob's saying there's something that might go up around, along the rim or something up there. I don't know enough. I never come to Moab, so I'm relying on the guy who's from Kentucky to tell me where to go in Moab because I don't, I don't do the research down here. We've had our snacks and now it's time to squeeze between both of us and find this route that Rob keeps talking about. This is another trail that I have not done before. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what the end looks like. I'm being told that it ends in like a cool view. So hopefully we get there before the sun goes down. It's currently 3.15. I thought it was like 12.30 and it is so cold. I mean, we're just driving on top of the ice now. This isn't even breaking through the ice like our last trail. It's just right on top of it. It's 28 degrees out, very cold. This is very much some winter trail riding. I mean, I'm having a good time. No one's out here. No one wants to be here, except him and I. So we're just kind of crazy, whatever. Stopped here because it's obviously oh, covered in oh, snow, sorry. and it's a little. Wow, oh, I hate that. And it's a little steep. It's actually right here. Oh, I'm misremembering things. But I think it goes down here, levels off, and then goes down steep again. So I just I wanted to make sure we make it back up. Heading down. Oh yeah, we can do this. Yeah, this won't be a problem. You want to just keep the sun in the sky a little longer? Just maybe just move it from there to there to there. So where does this go? Like what's, from here it goes back down into that ravine? Yeah. And then do we cross that fence line I again? I think we do, yeah. And then we head along, basically this is, there's like, I think there's like a cliff along here. We basically head along the cliff and then there's some caves in the cliff. Oh, cool. From there we cut across to the edge. Actually, you can see one. Oh, I can see a road out there, yeah. way out there. Oh, we've got a ways yet. Yeah. And then, yeah, I can see where it drops. It's fine. As far as I remember, once we're off this, it's a lot faster to go. Okay, well, let's get going fast. Maybe this is the part he was remembering. Let's go look. I will not close that because it will honk. Whew. Is this where you were remembering? This where I'm thinking. This rock's a little slick. Yeah, looks like there's only one set of tracks ahead of us. Not very fresh. So, pretty easy ledge ledge and then a big ledge this will be we can do this part no sweat traction right here traction down this yeah i think we're gonna be good yeah we're fine traction's really where we need it yeah it is okay let's do this the hill grab my camera it's flat spot 
There's nothing I can do to fight the echo because we're in a cave. I'd like to point out that this Sony camera rocks because this sh you shouldn't be able to see my face right now, but you can. Can we use it as night vision so we can see? Oh uh, yeah, will it see anything? Uh, kind of. It can see more than I can see. It can <laughs> see more than I can see. A flashlight would have been a great idea. I have headlamps and everything. Back out in the cold. I got nothing. That was me being smart. Behind me, this is pitch black. Oh, I'm messing up his video. We can't the same time. No, no, nope. I'm gonna stop talking now. What? Beautiful sunset, beautiful cliffside, freezing cold, had to pull out uh, the old Fall Raven parka here. I uh, got this for Christmas, thanks to my beautiful wife. Uh, look, all I can say is Moab in the summer is one thing, but Moab here in the winter, what a different experience. I have to come back to this spot in the summer. This is beautiful. I can't even, like, these views behind me are, I can't describe them, so just look at all of this. Wow, what an incredible day. Fisher Tower's like way over there. That's kind of where our day started. <laughs> wow, and we were supposed to end up like way out in the LaSalle's, and instead we ended up looking at them during sunset. Wow, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say wow about 40 more times. <sighs> this is awesome. Uh, I love being here at sunset, the only disadvantage, now we have to drive home in the dark. Luckily I've got my lights installed, so I think I'll probably be breaking the trail home. Wow, I said it again. <laughs> this has been awesome. Broncos performed so well in the snow. So to everybody that asks, how does it do in the snow? Awesome, look where it got me. <laughs> it did so well. It, oh man. And this is only the first day of me here in Moab, so. Got a lot more to do. Rob's planned out more places for us to go see, more stuff for us to, to do. I think we're gonna try and do Hell's Revenge. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do Hell's Gate, but I'll definitely do Hell's Revenge in this, so should be fun. Okay, I think that's it. So um, that does it for me. If you liked the video, even though it was sporadic, please like the video. If you have a question, leave me a comment. And if you wanna hang out again, we'll make sure to subscribe. Until next time. I'm Justin B. McBride.